And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the part of the program Sergeant Schultz enjoys most. The laugh-in news, report of the past, present, and future. <laughs> Imagine what it is if Schultz likes it. <laughs> I got a fellow for you. And now, for the news of... <laughs> now for the news of the president, here's the man who the news wouldn't be the news without the news. Here's Dickie. <laughs> okay. Dateline Moscow. Red China today threatened to bury Russia. This is an ironic move since Russia once threatened to bury the United States. Meanwhile, in Paris, Charles de Gaulle ordered round-the-clock efforts to speed up French shovel production. <laughs> Dateline Hollywood. American International Pictures today signed Annette Funicelli for a remake of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Annette will go topless for the first time, and the film will be called Whatever Happened to Baby Fat. <laughs> Did you leave a call, sir? Uh, Dateline West Germany. The Bonn government has denied reports that Germany is experiencing a resurgence of Nazism. He further stated that those responsible for the reports would never dare spread such malicious rumors if they still had relatives in Germany. <laughs> and that goes for your cat, too. <laughs> Take it away, Goldie. <laughs> and now, <laughs> now with the uh, new future news, <laughs> I'll never get it right. In the future, here's Dan. Now that's very good, Goldie. Well, you don't have to act so surprised. Well, now I'm not surprised that you got it right the first time. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're not surprised because I'm amazed. <laughs> News of the future, 1989, 20 years from now. The nation seems to be thriving quite well on its 100% seafood diet, except during the recent spawning season when the entire population of New York State was crushed trying to swim up the St. Lawrence River. <laughs> Chicago, 1989. Mayor Daley announced today that he has just purchased the Berlin Wall. The mayor was quoted as saying, not only is it aesthetically pleasing, but it will come in handy during the upcoming Democratic Convention. <laughs> Washington, 1989, General Louis B. Hershey IV declared today that the new volunteer army is an unqualified success, claiming that in the last month, enlistments have doubled. The general further announced that both soldiers will be sent to Vietnam, <laughs> where they will watch over our sailor. Now, for all of you who've been waiting for a Laugh-In News Extra, here's a Laugh-In News Extra you've all been waiting for. How many of your attention, please. General alarm. World War IV has started. I'll get it. Oh, sit still, Admiral. I'll get it. You got World War III. And now, direct from the Burbank International Airport Weather Bureau, here's Dave Downwind Madden with the Greater Los Angeles weather forecast. Take it away, Downwind. Downwind here. <clears throat> and tomorrow, <clears throat> Los Angeles is going to have weather from one end to the other. Here's the breakdown, unless I miss my guess. <clears throat> Got 15% chance of rain, 30% <clears throat> chance of wind <clears throat> and air, <clears throat> and a 99% chance of smog, <clears throat> and a 5% chance <clears throat> of survival. <laughs> Sports news. Now, 
Sports Report. With that, um, I would like to say, ladies and gentlemen, we switch you to our Laughrin Sports Reporter, the player who holds the world's record for completed passes in a huddle. <laughs> Think about it. Good old Big Al himself. Hi, Big Al here with a Big Al featurette. Oh, I love that bell. <laughs> Yours truly just got back from jolly old England where I cover the international channel swim. And the biggest splash of all was made by Giuseppe Natalie, the Sicilian swordfish who swam 26 miles from Dover to Calais in 13 hours and 12 minutes. But the real excitement was when his return trip which took exactly 38 seconds. What happened was Giuseppe dived in at Dover. He caught his stretch trunks on the dock. Oh, snap, snap, bubba, bubba. Ta ta. Go like this and say Big Al is a cuckoo. <laughs> there has been some controversy recently over the idea of televising certain trials, which are of special interest to the American public. Laugh in feels that this could result in some changes in courtroom procedure. All rise, please. Here come to judge, here come to judge. Take one. <laughs> this card is now in... Can you hold that card up so I can read it? <laughs> That's the man. <laughs> oh, you noticed me. <laughs> uh, Mr. Defense Counsel, would you bring your client to the bench? Yes. I want you gentlemen to know that these uh, proceedings are being televised and you are now on television. Great. Take it, Rocco. I'm a good sex. Order, order. I am sex. On what ground? Well, I just wanted to be sure I got a line. Yes. <laughs> Counsel, the defendant is charged with firing a shotgun into a church clock, setting fire to a park bench, poisoning a horse, and exploding a planetarium. How does your client plead? Uh, guilty with an explanation. Uh, he was rehearsing a guest shot on Mannix. I will now pass sentence. In a moment, you're going to find out what's going to happen to you. But first, this important message. <laughs> 